In this video, I am going to show how to download, install the firmware onto a USB memory stick, and then upload it to your Toshiba E Studio 4520 copier. First thing you want to do is download the firmware. I happen to have it here in an email, so I'm going to click on the download. And at this point, you could do these folders separately. Um, I prefer to just do the download. It's going to give you a warning because the file is larger than Google will do a scan on. Uh, just click on download anyway. And it will start downloading. Okay, we've sped time up a little bit. The download is complete. I've now placed the USB memory stick into the computer and it's indicated as the F drive for me. It may be different for you. My preferred way of unzipping it is to click on the arrow go to show in folder and I will right click and click extract all and we'll go to browse and it's already gone to the F drive because I have done this before I'm going to go ahead select folder and extract okay we have spent time up again and the unzipping is just about done And now that that's complete, I can go over to my F drive. And you can see we have the two folders with the firmware, the 2820C underscore 3530C, and this meant USB 2.0. Um, these are the two files you'll need to do the download. Um, once it's on your memory stick, you can then, as I prefer to do, I'm old fashioned, um, eject the memory stick and remove that from your computer. Once you have the firmware on your USB memory stick, place the USB memory stick in the USB port right next to the Put power the USB switch. memory stick in the USB port, press and hold the 4 and 9 keys, turn the machine on. You will keep holding the 4 and 9 until you hear a beep and the lights next to the touch screen will all light up. At that point, you can let go of the 4 and 9. You'll see on the screen, we get a message. Pops up in a second. Download USB maintenance module. And then it will start populating. Once it has populated, you want to have a look. Make sure the installed version is not higher than the updater version. The updater version is what's on your USB memory stick. If you notice, this one has been flashed before, but for this video, I am going to reflash it. At this point, anything you want to reflash or select, you want the star next to the number, press 2, 3, and 4 to select the others, and the start button, and it will start. All four will happen simultaneously. At this point, if you look at the screen, we've got a number of them have updated. We still have the engine going and the scanner. Uh, but the OS is complete, and as I said, they are happening simultaneously. Okay, at this point, we've sped up time, and it's just about done with the scanner. And as you can hear, it beeps, and we have at the bottom of the screen, update complete. At this point, we'll press and hold the main power button until it starts to shut down. You can then hold down 0 and 8. Press the main power button. Again, hold it for a few moments until you hear a beep. And the lights next to the touchscreen will light up again. Once they light up, you can let go of the 0 and 8. And it may take a few moments. It will go into test mode. The wait message, I'm not sure if you were able to see that, went away. And now for the, to tell the machine it's had the firmware update, we'll do 947 start. It'll ask if you're sure, press initialize, and then 1119 start. Again, it will say, are you sure, press initialize. Once we're back to the test mode, press and hold the main power button. It will start to beep. You can let go. It will shut itself off. Remove the USB stick. Press and hold the main power button until it starts 
and then you should be all set.